the Honorable Margaret Spellings. Thank you very much, Stephen. That was really sweet. And one thing I might recommend to you before I get into my other advice is always be nice to your boss. You never know how it's going to end up, but Dan is a true public servant. He served in the Michigan legislature, as you all know, and served in a very distinguished career in lots and lots of uh, institutions across our country, and you're very lucky to have him. Uh, one thing you might not know about him yet, but I do, is when he asks you to do something, you might as well just say yes, because you're going to end up doing it anyway. So thank you, Dan. I'm thrilled to be here. It's really a tremendous honor to be here to celebrate really what is one of life's most important accomplishments. He'll really remember this day forever. To the faculty and the Golden Gate family, thank you for the warm welcome and thanks for your efforts helping these students achieve their degree. To all the parents, family, and friends, your support and encouragement helped make this day possible and you deserve yet another round of applause. Especially to the class of 2007, congratulations. Today, of course, we are here to honor the hard work and determination that got you to this day. California, the West, the ideal of the Golden Gate has long stood as a symbol of opportunity, a gateway to adventure, an endless possibility. Ever since the gold rush of 1849, people have been coming to California to find their fortune. Now, last week, I went to an American Idol taping, and it's good to see that nothing has changed here in California. I love California because it reminds me a lot of my native Texas. California has fine dining and great wine. Texas has fine barbecue and great beer. <laughs> California has big waves, Texas has big hair. <laughs> California thinks it's the best state in the Union. We Texans know better. <laughs> Commencements are very special moments. Most of us spend our days in the comfort of routine, coffee in the morning, fight traffic, work, pick up the dry cleaning, buy the groceries. Our Palm Pilots and Blackberries give us our marching orders and how quickly life can become one never-ending to-do list. But each of you made a decision to break routine, to do something for yourself, to pursue education. Many of you have done so while working full-time and raising a family. You've made sacrifices, worked hard, and it hasn't been easy. But because of that choice, you've been given a gift, a chance to see the future with fresh perspective and new skills to seize the vast potential your life holds. And I can't think of a better place to begin your next adventure. California is a place of big dreams, a land of pioneers and risk takers, a melting pot of diversity that fuels the innovation and spirit of opportunity that is America. Look around you. Your class powerfully represents this. Ranging in age from 20 to 69, representing countries from Thailand to Turkey, such a rich pool of talent and diversity. Many of you are the first in your family to graduate. Some of you earning a bachelor's degree and others a master's degree. But every single one of you understands that education is the stepping stone to a world of much greater opportunity. So, in thinking on what advice to offer you today as you embrace this next stage in your lives, I look for inspiration from something every single one of us has needed or will need at some point to get through life. <laughs> Recognize this? There are lots of days that I don't think I'm going to survive without my tall, extra hot soy misto. And now they not only provide my daily dose of caffeine, but right here on the cup, they're dispensing words of advice as well. 
Hundreds of quotes from singers, authors, even regular citizens collected to inspire. So I thought I'd share a few of my favorites with you and how they've held true in my life. For starters, number 236. Scientists tell us we only use 5% of our brains. But if they only use 5% of their brains to reach that conclusion, why should we believe them? <laughs> if no one ever challenged conventional wisdom or questioned authority, think how different and boring our lives would be. So much of what we take for granted, flipping a light switch, flying in an airplane, sending an email, living in freedom, all these things exist because of individuals taking risks. Ordinary men and women who overcame obstacles, endured ridicule, and held true to their ideals. In this life, it's an effort.